the public must assume the Queen will not attend future events until confirmed by the palace on the day, it is claimed. Her Majesty's presence at public engagements will be a bonus but not guaranteed under alleged new palace plans following several health scares, including a brush with COVID. An insider told the Mail on Sunday, the assumption must now be that the Queen will not be present at events. If Her Majesty does attend, it will be decided on the day and she will be accompanied by another member of the royal family. The monarch, who turns 96 next week, has pulled out of several recent engagements at the last minute due to ongoing mobility issues. The monarch missed the Easter Sunday service in Windsor, despite usually making an appearance. She also pulled out of Thursday's Maundy service at St. George's Chapel, instead being represented by Prince Charles and Camilla. It was the first time he had taken his mother's place at the event, which marks an important fixture in the royal calendar, and highlighted his increasing role within the monarchy. The 95-year-old also missed last month's Commonwealth Day ceremony due to concerns about her comfort. and the head of state has been seen using a walking stick over the last six months and in February told a visitor at Windsor Castle, as you can see, I can't move. But despite her problems standing for long periods, she walked unaided at a memorial service to her late husband Prince Philip on March 29. and she received a $110,000 golf buggy to help her get around and fulfill future engagements, and had a wheelchair-friendly lift fitted at her favorite Highlands Cottage. Aides are said to be hopeful the Queen will be able to make attend at least some of the events organized to mark her Platinum Jubilee. But under the new arrangement, this may not be confirmed until the morning of. 